Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Uh, today it's time to review this WAF day uh, Alasian 2 speakers that are, I've been breaking in for like almost four weeks now. So second week was the uh, one of the hardest week, you know, listening to these speakers. But after second week, from third week to fourth week, I don't notice much of the any changes in um, sound signature from high frequency to all the way to you know lowest frequency response that, that this one can produce. My setup is very simple. Uh, this uh, Sony HAPZ One ES music server, uh, mostly playing. Uh, DSD files with the uh, high-res flag files. So most of the, my listening go through with DSD files and some vinyl records. And then the connection is the uh, Belden 8402 XLR cables to my Denon uh, PME SX11 integrated amplifiers. And this one is also Class A bias. And lower volume stage, uh, it will goes up to like 30 watts in Class A. So that's why this amplifier operation temperature is very high. Usually it operate either is around like 120. After like 30 to 40 minutes listening, it will take up to like 150, 148, you know, operation temperature. So this one is pretty much like a space heater. Volume control knob is a little like 745 position on this volume control knob it will get me around like 65 to 75 db loudness in this room where i sit like 14 feet away if i crank it up to nine o'clock position it get me around 85 to 95 db loudness so that's the uh, amplifier and then this is of course my old denon turntable i'm using audio quest big star cables going through a mc phono stage with dia 301 mark 2 uh, mc cartridge speaker cables uh, my custom design uh, star quad all the way on each channel and auditioning uh, trying uh, speakers like kef reference one and then uh, sonas fava uh, olympica 3 tradition i think uh, if i remember it right and then uh, I also have an experience trying uh, SE17, Sonus Fava SE17. So, and then, um, of course, uh, Bowers and Wilkins 804 D3, 805 D3. So, those are, you know, really good speakers to each of uh, really, really have uh, character and uh, signature of sound reproduction. So, how does this stack up to the, all those speakers is, you know, first of all, the build quality. If you look at these panels, the cabinetry, which as soon as I see this cabinet, it reminds me of that uh, Sonos Fava uh, SE17 side panel. This gloss and smooth, really, really luxurious, high quality finish that Wafte produced for this Elysian 2 speakers. Fit and finish, build quality, luxurious look. It can go toe to toe with any speakers in ten to twenty thousand dollars price range. Overall, this walnut grain and this gloss finish and luxurious look. You have to see it outside to truly appreciate the quality. This is one of a kind with the stand that they designed together. Probably they are making the history in this price point. Next thing is the uh, the drivers. This transformer is bigger than uh, any air motion transformer that I have ever seen. And then uh, it have a, it's like a little curve that uh, it add like a waveguide kind of thing. So that's the uh, different design than other speakers that use EMT uh, transformers. The mid-range driver with this face plug is designed and made by ScanSpeak. Really, really articulate and really, really responsive. Very, very fast response. It can keep up with this AMT tweeter with any kind of music. Doesn't matter. You can throw any kind of music. It will keep it up and it will reproduce as it should and better than you might expect on this kind of combination. So next thing is bass driver. 
that is also uh, made by uh, ScanSpeak or Wafdale. So this mid-range driver and base drivers are designed and made in Europe. So that is, of course, high quality drivers that they really integrated well with this AI motion tweeters. So this kind of a tweeter are known to have a very good response and very fast and a lot of uh, dynamic drivers, base driver or mid-range driver have hard time keeping up with them. So, but not the case. So Wafdale really, really get the work done integrating uh, these kind of uh, drivers together. Getting the speaker sound like a one point source speaker the driver integration is so great that when I listen in to my music, I don't even notice the speaker anymore. So it literally, it disappear. I mean, this kind of big speaker can disappear. That how much it can produce and sonically, uh, musically, uh, soundscape and soundstage. And of course, it can produce very delicate uh, high frequency extension without any harshness, any forwardness or any unwanted response from their speakers. That's how good, how well they design and produce this speaker. So in my opinion, this is the speaker for hobbyists like us, uh, like end game and all speaker kind of feeling, which actually does because it stopped me wondering what it can get better by upgrading or changing the speakers. This is a speaker that you just, just straight go listen and enjoy your music. So next thing is the placement. Elysian 2 is placed three feet away from wall behind it. And then I sit uh, 14 feet away from center to center from two speakers. The ceiling is 10 feet high and treated with acoustic treatments. Positioning is just a toe in, like 20 degree toe in, not more than that. And then uh, bass performance is really, really incredible. If I go farther back, go really low, but uh, I prefer where I have it positioned right now. Very articulate, very tight, and very responsive bass response. That's what I like and that's what I prefer with my music. It's very fast, very quick response. Great benefit of uh, this speaker and this combination is, doesn't matter what I throw at them, they will reproduce the sound with the great scale, dynamics, and sound stage, very wide sound stage, no matter where I sit, the way that they designed, the way that uh, they integrated these drivers, oh man, you have to hear it to believe it. You will hear, you know, kick drums and snare drums and rolling drums. Those responses are so quick and so fast as it you will hear it from live instrument. This one makes you feel like you are hearing, listening to big panel speakers, something like, you know, Martin Logan or a Pogi or Soundcraft or that kind of big panel speakers, you know, it totally uh, fast and musical with sonically very enjoyable, very realistic. So that kind of sound from dynamic speaker, this Wafty Elijah 2 speaker take all the guesswork out of your audio file enjoyment. I mean, you, as long as your amplifier or your pairing component is up for it, this one can be totally musical, totally enjoyable. I mean, Wafde been doing a really, really great job on the newer generation speakers. They always been known for a very musical, very uh, enjoyable speaker that they always made, no matter any class that they may, you, you will always can enjoy the, the speakers. But this one is totally uh, hit it out of the park because overall sonic capability, overall, you know, transparency, detail reproduction, uh, frequency response, 
the realistic sound reproduction. I mean, literally, it's like I'm listening to my own voice, like I'm having conversation with another me. So that how good the voice and human voice reproduction is. Really, really good on this one. That's how good this driver integration and these drivers and the Illusion Two speaker is producing when it comes to human voices, male or female voices. is so real, so realistic, and probably you will <laughs> get some confusion because one time.、Um, I was listening to one of the track. It has a, some sort of a, a angry a argument background noises. I forgot the, what track was it. It's not my usual track. So then、uh, my wife was in the、uh, dining room and she said, "Hey, somebody、uh, arguing outside or in our driveway or something. Some is it somebody outside?" I was like, "No, no it's from the speakers." She was like, "Oh, that's so real." So that kind of、uh, sound reproduction that's so real, people can get confused. Musical detail reproduction that this one is differentiate from other speakers that I try. I tried a eight o five D three. It's very good speakers, very nice and good bass response from that size of the speakers. But overall scale and、uh, realistic and natural and Inviting sound signature with the、uh, long-term enjoyment. This one totally outrun and outgun those kind of speakers. Even A O Five D Three or A O Four D Three, they have their own strengths. But when it comes to musicality, this one is above those speakers. And then、uh, that Olympica Tradition Three.、Uh, so that speaker was pairing. With the、uh, Macintosh MC three fifty two, and everything is great. But when I'm listening to、uh, one of the uh, Sting uh, track, it sounds great. Skill and dynamics are very good, but the vocals are too forward with that setup. And then the bass performance is very good and very deep, but not as responsive or not as fast as the. Illusion Two. Overall, sonic capability, musicality, realistic sound reproduction, with very good, nice and wide sound stage that really, really take you into the、uh, very enjoyable musical soundscape. Sound is so enjoyable. Do you know how much hour I listen to my music? Sometimes it's been like two times already. So. I started listening right after my breakfast, around eight o'clock. Then all the way to nine p.m. That's how much I can listen to these speakers, except for you know when I'm having、uh, dinner or you know when we are having lunch. That how much hour I was sitting on the couch. I was like, I can listen to this all day long. That is my dream come true. Because there are many speakers that sounds great and very impressive for short run, but when it's come to long hours, it give me some tiring, some sort of fatigue. But this one is none of that. So that is the、uh, pairing combination is really great. Probably that's what it is. So this Deno M is very neutral and a bit on warm side with very. Uh, what do you call it? Full spool、uh, sound reproduction. That capability of、uh, controlling the、uh, whole, you know, lineup of these drivers. So then,、uh, overall, soundscape and soundstage is no matter where you sit. We have a seven seating position. I can try on this corner, that corner, or even you know. At the side, near side, full musical frequency range that I can enjoy from, no matter where I sit. So I don't think I can do any better than this for my musical enjoyment. If they make this speaker in United Kingdom, 
probably ten to fifteen thousand dollars easy for this kind of fit and finish and quality component. Even speaker binding posts are custom made to cater this Elysian series. So this is a speaker that really, really put Wafti above any other companies in this price point. That's how much I will say. So here's my advice. If you're in the market for this price range of the speakers or even up to like $15,000, please do yourself a favor, try these speakers. It can totally uh, change the way you perceive of a high-end speakers. So that's it, my friend. That is my quick review and my experience with this speaker. This speaker is total package. Everything is totally reflect the asking price and sound quality is totally more than uh, asking price. That's what, how much this one is neutral natural clean musical very fast very responsive very tight bass response big soundscape and very nice dynamic impact overall sensitivity rating is very accurate or even a little underrated than the aspect suggest so that is my last input that's it my friend thank you for watching and happy listening
Tower Braid on the bass, Mr. Cody Boy Keskisana. On the guitar, Automayoskisana. 